And one of the biggest drug controversies in recent years has been reopened. New analysis suggests a former best-selling diabetes drug may not be as risky as first thought. But critics still feel Avandia is too dangerous. Edward Lawrence reports. A Food and Drug Administration panel is looking at a new analysis on the diabetes drug Advandia, which suggests the pill is just as safe as older diabetes drugs. The FDA restricted use of the drug in 2010 after research suggested Avandia increased the risk of a heart attack. There's a lot of conflicting information. I think the majority of the information that I saw suggested there probably wasn't a problem. But the doctor who first raised concerns about Avandia maintains it's a dangerous drug and should not be given to anyone. This drug should be off the market. It is off the market in almost every country in the world but the United States. At Wednesday's meeting, a team leader for the FDA warned the panel that GlaxoSmithKline, which makes Avandia, financed and collaborated in the latest research. Just 3,000 people currently take Avandia in the U.S. Four years ago, doctors wrote more than 2.5 million prescriptions for it. GlaxoSmithKline says the drug should remain available for patients with hard-to-treat diabetes. Touch your head back and hold your breath for a minute. Steve Poucher was taken off of India in 2011 after the FDA's original decision. He has tried many diabetes drugs on the market. It's the only drug that worked, or put it this way, Without the Avandia, I couldn't control my diabetes. His doctor just put him back on the drug. He says it makes sense that the FDA is taking another look at Avandia. I know the benefits. I also know the risks. I mean, I, you know, I've read the studies. Poucher says he's anxious to see what the FDA decides. Edward Lawrence for CBS News, Westwood, California. So joining us now is Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum, preventative cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital here in New York City. Doctor, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So this is an interesting topic. We're getting conflicting information about a drug that was once incredibly popular. You're, you're a cardiologist. You're all about keeping our heart healthy. From your point of view, your medical opinion, would you advise people use this drug? When all the information broke, and that was in 2010, when we found out that perhaps Avandia was dangerous, all of the cardiac patients, all the patients that I'm trying to prevent heart attacks and heart failure in, mm -hmm. we had to take them off this medication. Mm -hmm. And so right now, the fact that we're re-looking at it, there's multiple different reasons why this is happening. Who actually ran the trials initially? Is it really that risky? But more importantly, there has been a warning about this medication, but it hasn't been taken off the market in the United States. Mm -hmm. So now the relook is saying, is it as dangerous as we've thought? And I think this question needs to be answered. We need to really get to the bottom of this and understand what the FDA really believes is true about the medication. But I'm not going to put anyone on it yet. Mm -hmm. I have taken all my patients off of it, and I'm waiting to hear, just like we all are. So as I understand it, there was, you know, there were studies, there was data, it was analyzed, the FDA decided it should really only be uh, prescribed for very serious cases of diabetes, people who really can't take anything else. Same information is available, but the second look is sort of reanalyzing the data and the numbers? So there's an, a third party that's actually going over the data again. The original trials were really looked at by Glaxo, the company that manufactured the drug. Mm -hmm. So there's an objective party now that's really taking a look at it and seeing if there is a risk. What we're seeing is that maybe it's not as risky as it, we once thought it was, that it might not actually cause heart attacks, heart attacks but lead to heart failure. Mm -hmm. and, and these issues are important mm -hmm. and we really need to understand the trial design was was different in looking at the medication originally and the scientists really believe that it wasn't a trial that was giving us enough information mm -hmm. from what they saw it was actually a dangerous drug how rare is it for the FDA to give a drug a second pass like this I haven't really seen this mm -hmm. and so it's really interesting for us to go through this process mm -hmm. because we haven't seen the FDA do this before I think the reality is it was such a heavily used medication that there were such positive things about it that it actually controlled sugar levels in diabetics mm -hmm. and so the second look is really saying we need to know the truth 
how risky is it for our patients and do we need to absolutely stop manufacturing it, mm -hmm. take all the patients off of it and do what the other countries around the world have done. Do you think we could see the FDA do this again? Are we starting sort of a new precedent or do you think that this is a very special case? I think this is a very special case. I think that there was a question that came up in 2010. There's been multiple questions about this medication. Again, whether the study design was the right, the right way, if all of the science was done properly mm -hmm. to give us the information. But at the end of the day, I have to say, the FDA is really doing due diligence, going through every single step, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, to make sure that we do the right thing for our patients. Now, this was an incredibly popular drug. Now it's whittled down to only 3,000 people, only in the U.S. that use it. If the restrictions are lifted or changed, eased, do you think this drug could see a comeback, or are people still going to be pretty nervous about it? I think that we'll always be a little bit nervous about it. I think for those patients that we really have trouble controlling their sugars, maybe we'll see it used in a specific population, but that's what we have going on right now. Right. That the warning is saying, only use it for these people. And I'm not sure how much that's going to change. And certainly, as a cardiologist mm -hmm. who's trying to save lives, I don't want to use a medication that can possibly do harm. First, do no harm. That's what we learn in medical school. I like that, especially from my doctor. Uh, Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum, preventative cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. Also, she is the author of Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum's heart book, Every Woman's Guide to a Heart Healthy Life.